Back at Rochester High School, time now for the starting lineups. First, the four and seven Manchester Squires. At one guard will be a 5'9 freshman, Weston Camby, or Weston Hamby, I beg your pardon. At the second guard will be a six foot junior, Camden Lester. At the third guard will be a 6'1 senior, Cole Fluke. At one forward, a 6'2 junior, Braden Casper. And the other forward, a 6'1 senior, Mason Hamby. Manchester coach by Mr. Mark Underwood, one of the good guys in the game. Yeah. For the Rochester Zebras, they have a record of 7-5. and five. At one guard will be a 6'5 senior, Austin Utter. The second guard, a 6'3 senior, Jordan Reinholdt. At the third guard will be a 6-foot sophomore, Cavalry Lingenfelter. At one forward, a 6'2 junior, Brady Perez. And the other forward, 6'3 junior, Tyler Walker. Rochester coached by Rob Malco. Well, again, Brad, uh, Brad, Brad Thomas joins us here tonight. And Bradley, we saw a decent game against the Manchester Squires on Tuesday. Uh, I thought we didn't, we weren't as sharp as what I was expecting. We're going to have to be sharp tonight. Yeah, uh, that game against Caston Tuesday night was, uh, I, I never really got the impression that Rochester was um, hurried or felt any kind of urgency. You know, they played hard, but they just seemed like there was a little bit of a relaxed feeling to that entire basketball game. And I don't think we're going to see that kind of level of intensity tonight. I think these guys are going to come out. Uh, I think you touched on it with Coach Malco in the pregame. You know, the fact that this is a 6-15 start may have a little bit of a factor, but I think these guys will be ready to go. Well, they better be because a lot of these guys were on the team last year when yeah. they beat us by 50. Yeah, well, and I think as far as the TRC is concerned, you know, I know it's early yet for the boys, but Manchester's already got two losses, so you know they're they're still battling. Rochester with only one loss, you know, they're not out of it yet. Yep, that's right. So it will be Casper and Perez to jump, and Rochester wins the tip. Lingenfelder works the ball to the left wing to Utter. Utter around the defense. Man-to-man. Man -to -man. Yeah, yeah. man-to-man -man defense to Perez on the right wing. Brady, a couple of dribbles to his left, carries the basketball, no call, rises up in the lane, shot over the defense, is in. Good start for Brady Perez. Anytime he can get a 10-footer or, or an 8-footer to drop, that's going to do wonders for his confidence. Weston can be a freshman, drives into the basket, right-handed layup is no good, but a foul coming on Lingenfelter. You know, you and that's told me a handful for Lingenfelder. An interesting fact before we went on the air about yeah, uh, Weston Camby. I had a conversation with the uh, Hamby's uncle this afternoon, and he was telling me how, as an eighth grader last year, he played on a national travel team that won the national championship. So, and he was their point guard. So, this is going to be, uh, yeah. Hamby hits the first free throw. He'll have one more again. Hamby, a five-nine freshman, getting some D1 looks already. Yeah. Yeah, he got attention of a lot of coaches in that travel league last summer. Hamby's second one on the way is nothing but net again, and then we're tied at two. We'd like to welcome the Rochester Glass Company to tonight's broadcast, both girls and guys. Rochester breaks the press, and the Cavalry steps on the sideline and is going to give it back to the Squires. Of course, we uh, a few of us still remember what uh, Mason Hamby, the older brother, <laughs> did to us last year. You get two of them on the floor at the same yeah. time, and watch out. Yeah, he, I think that he had 35 or 40, honest to goodness, last yeah, year. Yeah. So Rochester in a 2-3 zone. Manchester the basketball going to our right. In the corner to Fluke. He'll fire a three from downtown. In and out, no good. Reinhold grabs the board and runs. Jordan ahead to Brady Perez on the right wing. Brady behind the arc on the right side of the floor against man-to-man -man defense for the Manchester Squires. Now top of the key to Langenfelder. Dribbles to the right side. Gives a Reinhold 10 feet behind the arc. Bounce pass to Walker. Walker backs his way in the lane. Kicks it back outside to Utter at the volleyball line. A minute gone in the first quarter. We're tied at two here at Rochester High School. Baseline to Reinhold, and it's been kicked on the far side by Lester. Rochester will have it out of bounds on the far side, basically right in front of the student section. Rochester being patient on offense, working against that man-to-man -man, uh, defense. Not taking any long shots, not taking any stupid right. approaches to it. They're looking for a good shot. Lingenfelder against Hamby. Weston Hamby dribbles out of trouble and gives to Utter. Utter against Lester. Top of the key. Dribbles left. Fakes and goes to the left side. Bounce pass on the block to Walker. Tyler with the basketball. Bounce pass in the lane to Reinhold outside to Lingenfelder. Cavalry jump stop out to Reinhold on the left wing. Now sends right side to Lingenfelder. Cavalry one dribble to his left. Now to Utter top of the key with 6.15 to play in the first quarter. We're tied at two. High on the left side is Reinhold. Jordan dribbles to his right. Now goes back to his left on the baseline. Fakes, rises, good. 
Nice move by Jordan Reinhold on the baseline. Right. Rochester back up by two. Weston Camby runs the point. Works to the top of the key. Gets a pick from brother Mason. And Mason has it now behind the arc on the left side. Gives to Lester. Lester brings it around to the top of the key. Back to Mason Camby on the left wing. Hamby drives to the left elbow. Gives to Fluke. Takes a three. Drives around the defense. Rises up. Shot blocked out of bounds by Reinhold. Get out of here. Yeah, that's where Rochester's got an advantage right now with Utter and Reinhold. You know, out front on the defense against the uh, shorter and smaller three-point yes. shooters of Manchester. Fluke gives to Casper. Casper on the right wing, quickly across the court to Weston Cam- uh, Hamby. Kicks it out to Fluke. Fluke, couple of dribbles to Casper on the right wing behind the arc against Rochester's zone defense. Weston Hamby for three is good, and he's got all five of Manchester's points. It's five to four. Here comes a little 2-2, one-half court trap. By Manchester, Rochester breaks that press. Lingenfelder dribbles all the way to the baseline, kicks it out to Reinhold in the corner to Perez. Down low to Walker. Walker travels, going to give it back to Manchester. They had the right idea, but you just got to keep your foot planted if you're going to make that drop step. After one in the Alex gym, Rochester's girls, the JV girls, down 11-7 to to Manchester. Of course, that uh, varsity game coming up after this one here tonight on WROI. And that one, that game... Coming up after this one will have a lot to do with oh boy. The, how the TRC finishes this year. Reverse layup for Manchester is no good, and Lingenfeller grabs the board. You're not kidding. It's a championship Saturday, and hopefully it'll be championship Thursday. Yeah, you're right. Lingenfeller drives it right to the right elbow, out to Utter on the right side. Austin dribbles to the top of the key. Now works to the left wing. It looks on the block to Reinhold. Can't get him. Now has him at the free throw line. Bounce pass into mm. Walker, and they're going to say stay. Manchester tipped it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester baseline right. The other thing I think Rochester's doing really well right here to start this game is defensively they're limiting Manchester to one shot. Yeah. As good as they shoot, that's what's going to have to happen. Yeah, and then you got to kind of hope they don't shoot very well. Yeah. <laughs> Lingenfelder against the half-court trap, Ooh. throws it away. Ahead to Lester. His right-handed layup on the way is good. So Cam Lester on the board for Manchester, and the Squires lead 7-4. to four. The pressure there t- created that turnover. Right, yeah, that's the one thing right now Rochester's having trouble with is that half-court pressure. Utter to Reinhold on the near side in the corner to Perez. Left baseline, his entry pass is tipped away, but stolen back by Reinhold. Now we're going to have a foul on Casper, and that dead ball will bring in Bryce Abbott. Yep, that'll be Cas- about him today. Casper's first, team first. Alex on a field will come back in for Rochester, actually come in for the first time, and Tyler Walker to sit. Four minutes to play, first quarter, Manchester by three. I thought it's Bryce Abbott, Wednesday, Tuesday night against Caston, had one whale of a basketball game. He had a huge third quarter and he just did. rebounding. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Under four to play in the first quarter. Four-point lead right now for Manchester. On a field, works against Mason Hamby. Top of the key to Abbott. Abbott against Weston Hamby in the paint. Stops, leaner on the way, high off the glass, no good. Rebound tipped around. Mason Hamby comes down with it, pushes ahead to Lester. Now to Fluke, top of the key to Mason Hamby. Top of the key, right side to Weston Hamby. Now to Casper, his three off the back of the rim, no good. Another rebound for Abbott. He clears the right hole. Jordan runs, left side of the floor, 3.20 to play in the first quarter. Manchester leads 7-4. to four. Bounce pass to Onafield behind the arc on the left wing. He works against Mason Hamby. Bounce pass to Reinhold in the paint. He rises up from 15 feet off the back of the iron. No good. Lester grabs a board. He rips and runs for the Squires. Lester bounce pass on the baseline to Mason Hamby. He misses a shot. His put back no good. Blocked out of bounds, in fact. It'll stay with Manchester baseline right. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Under three to play in the first quarter. Manchester leads 7-4. Rochester Casper. doing a pretty good job defensively, even though they trail by three right now. I still think they're playing pretty well, pretty good yep, defense. Yeah, I agree. Mason Hamby had 20 points at this juncture last year. <laughs> he fires a three from the right wing. No good. Austin Utter rises up, grabs the board, and ahead. Oh. Ready to uh, make that to Abbott. He loses it through his hands. Mason Hamby with it. Out to Fluke in the right wing. Fluke in the corner to Casper. Back to Hamby. Left side. To Weston Hamby. He thought about a three, passed it up. Now to Fluke, top of the key. Back to Weston Hamby. He'll fire a three from downtown off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound, fall four. Onafield climbs the back of Casper, and I think we're going to have a foul in Rochester. Yeah, I think Onafield's going to pick that up. That'll be his first team second. 
Yeah, when we're talking about uh, Manchester spotting up for a three, there hasn't been one of them that's been up on the three-point line yet. They've all been about a step back from the three-point line. Well, when you give up some size, that's usually what happens, <laughs> well, right? And the thing is, he's shooting from 22 feet, and he's still long. <laughs> <laughs> Trey Stasiak comes into the game for the first time for Rochester. As does Parrott, Logan Parrott, for the Squires. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Fluke in the left wing, now top of the key to Weston Hamby. He drives it to his left to Fluke, brings it to the top of the key, bounce pass to Lester. Lester splits the defense, throws it right into the hands of Brady Perez. Rochester running the other way. Down by three with two to play in the first quarter. In the corner to Stasiak. Trey holds. Back to Utter high on the right side. Austin dribbles to his left, now in the paint, jump stop at the elbow, kicks it out to Onafield. Bounce pass to Utter in the left wing. Utter directs traffic against Lester in the man to man defense. We're down to 100 seconds to play in the first quarter with Rochester down by three at 7-4. to four. We've been at 7-4 to four for a while. It has been for a while, yeah. Both teams a little cold yet from shooting. Austin Utter then steps on the sideline out of bounds. That's the fifth turnover here in the first quarter for Rochester. Senior night tonight for the girls. Yes, very exciting. <laughs> Why are you green? <laughs> you look like you're about to be sick. <laughs> Weston Hamby high on the left side to Fluke. Back to Hamby between the rings. Near side to Casper to Hamby. We're going to up. We're going to queue up memories. No, we're not. Cat, cats in the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just as long as not butterfly kisses, we're okay. trying out loud. <laughs> Weston Hamby again for three left wing. That make that was Fluke. Hit Still, bounces oh, around geez. five times on the rim and falls off. We thought for sure it was going to bounce in at any time. And the Zebras get the rebound. Perez will go to the basket. Jump stop rises up. A lot of contact, no foul. They're going to say last touch by Manchester. And it'll stay with Rochester baseline right. At halftime, the JV girls down 15 to 11. Ooh. Ryan Holt gets it into Utter. Three ball, right baseline. No good. Casper grabs the board and runs. Casper middle of the floor for Manchester. Left side to Fluke. Fakes left, comes back right. Wrap around pass to Casper. Top of the key. 2-3 zone by the Zebra defense. High on the left side to Fluke. Fluke with the basketball. Outside to Mason, uh, make that to Weston Hamby. Now to Mason Hamby. Leaner on the way, high off the glass, no good. Onifield grabs the board again. Out Lester, Jordan Reinhold, and Rochester runs. Down by three. 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Rochester's going to look for the last shot here. Trey Stasiak holds at the volleyball line. Opportunity to tie it up. Yep. Reinhold at the free throw line. Back to Utter at the volleyball line with 25. Now to Reinhold, back to Stasiak. Over the top of the defense to Utter. To Reinhold with 20. Back to Stasiak with 19. Trey one dribble to his right. Bounce pass to Reinhold. Out to Utter with 15. Now to Perez. Back to Utter with 13. Utter holds 20 feet behind the three-point line with 10. Now to Stasiak with 9. Now to Reinhold with 8. Swings right side to Utter with 6. Back to Utter. we we'll make that back to Reinhold with 5. His jump on the buzzer's good. Reinhold is just automatic. Seen him make a lot of those buzzer beaters this year. After one, we're tied at 7. You're listening to Zebra Basketball. 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. Yeah, once again, Ryan, uh, Reinhold with that three-pointer to close the quarter. We saw him do that. It went Tuesday night at Caston, and uh, we've seen him do it a couple other times yep. this year already. So, so Weston Hamby will run the point for the Squires. He crosses through the center circle. Rochester stays in that 2-3 zone. Near side to Fluke. Fluke at the free throw or the uh, three-point line to Weston Hamby. And he loses the ball off his knee. He picks it up before it goes out of bounds. Now against a double team. Underhand pass to Casper. Near side to Fluke. Drives the right baseline. Down low to Mason Hamby. Ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Rochester. Ron Reinholt runs. Rochester 
Tied at seven with Manchester with 30 seconds gone in the second quarter. Reinhold hands off to Brady Perez. Brady Perez in the lane, 15 footer, no good. Mason Hamby with another rebound. He loses the ball right into the hands of Brother Weston. Coach Malco wanted to keep a low scoring game. He wanted it to be in the 30s or 40s and we're on pace to yeah, you're not kidding. about half of that right now. <laughs> Casper on the right wing against Rochester's 2-3 zone, which is pretty active right now. Yeah, it is. They're doing a good job of covering and, and uh, keeping the three-point shooters at bay. Mason Hamby dribbles to the right elbow extended. Out to Fluke. Wraparound pass to Casper. Casper in the corner to Weston Hamby. His three is off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound to Manchester. Fluke's 18-footer put back off the back of the iron. No good. It hit the guide cable. No call. But we got the rebound anyway. Reinhold ahead to Perez. Brady. Gives to Utter, spot up three, right wing, no good off the back of the rim. Somebody lower these, and the <laughs> rebound to Manchester. A lot of adrenaline out there tonight. <laughs> Lester will come back in for the Squires, and he'll replace Casper. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Parrott's still on the floor for the Squires. 6.39 to play in the first half. We're tied at seven. Hamby across the timeline to, to Lester. Back to Weston Hamby, near side to Fluke in the corner to Mason Hamby. Over the top to Weston Hamby, fakes a three, drives it left, pulls it back outside behind the arc. Now right side to Fluke. Fluke about five feet behind the arc to Weston Hamby, top of the key between the circles. Drifts to his left, to Lester now. Back to Hamby. Weston Hamby drives to the right side to Mason Hamby. Fakes a three, back to Weston. Thought about a three, passes it up. Now to Fluke, fakes a three, drives it. Pull up 15 foot on the baseline, no good. And the rebound on a field. Great block out by Trey Stasiak. Rochester runs, two minutes gone in the second quarter. We're tied at seven. Stasiak, high on the right side. You know, maybe this is kind of what we expected of a six o'clock tip, in all seriousness. Yeah, nobody's really shooting very well. Defensive struggle, kind of. On a field, high on the right side. Gives to Reinhold. Drives it right at the free throw line. Rises up from 15 feet, too hard. Rebound to Utter. Well, actually, there's a fight for it. Manchester comes out of there with it. Mason Hamby runs on the right side. No look pass to Parrott. His right hand lay is blocked, but the rebound to Fluke is put back. No good. Utter with the board. I think it How about that by Onafield? Yeah. Onafield got his hands on the shot. Knocked it off to the other side. Utter with the big rebound. Stasiak kicks it out to Utter, top of the key. 5.15 to play in the first quarter. Uh, make that first half. We're tied at seven. Utter now with the basketball against the man-to-man -man defense. Rise up, right hold off the top of the backboard, no good, and the rebound to Manchester. I think a big big part of why neither team is shooting very well right now is because both teams are playing really exceptional defense. Yeah, I'd agree they're, with that. They're making it really, really difficult for anybody to get a good shot. Mason Hamby in the paint against the trees, throws up a shot, air ball, Utter with the rebound. Now Reinhold has it. Ahead to Stasiak, Trey, the Euro step, throws up a shot, it goes in. Stasiak. 435. That's, that's the first bucket in about four minutes, I think. By either team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rochester hadn't scored since the end of the first. True. The teardrop shot for Hamby is no good. Utter with the rebound. Now to Reinhold. Jordan pushes ahead to Perez. Brady back to Reinhold, 15 feet away. Make that to 25 feet away from the basket. Now to Utter in the center circle. Utter holds above his head. Man to man defense on a field on the right wing. Alex, one dribble to his right. Gives to a cutting Reinhold. Backs his way in. A flop by Fluke. He puts it in for two, does Reinhold. Reinhold now with seven. Rochester out to a four-point lead right now, 11 to seven. Manchester's probably approaching seven, eight minutes without a bucket. Yeah, I think you're right. The guy to your left would know. Fluke for three, <laughs> yeah. right wing is no good. And off the guide cable on the, uh, the miss, it'll go back to Rochester. Abbott and Walker back in. Stasiak and on a field out. And now Rochester will take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. 3.48 to play in the first half, Rochester by four. Yeah, Manchester hasn't scored in the last, well, nearly seven minutes, and they've only scored two points in the last ten minutes. Rochester took them almost four minutes to get a bucket here in the second quarter. So both teams uh, not shooting very well, but playing really, really good defense as well. Yeah, I'd agree with that. They are taking contested shots. Everybody is. Yeah. Utter in the paint. Kicks it out to Perez. Just inside the arc. Straight away. Jumper's too hard. Manchester the rebound. Weston Hamby brings it up the floor. In the paint. In the corner. Casper for three is good. Three-point basket, number five, Casper. 
First points for Casper. And that breaks about a seven minute drought. So it's 11 to 10. The entry pass is tipped out of bounds. Nope, they're going to say Manchester did not touch it before it goes out of bounds. Manchester's going to get it back. Trey Stasiak back into the game and coming out is Abbott. 3-14 to play in the first half. Rochester up 11 to 10. Weston Hamby brings it up the floor. Walks it through the center circle where the 2-3 zone awaits him. High on the left side to Casper. Back to Weston Hamby. Back to Casper on the right wing. Now in the corner to Mason Hamby. Casper, Weston Hamby, top of the key. Casper, three, left wing for the Squires. Short, rebound to Fluke, kicks it out to Casper. Now to Weston Hamby, they reset top of the key. Fluke, right wing, travels, no call. Down low to Mason Hamby, turn around, jumper the paint is good. And that's Mason's first points of the game. Three, make that two and a half to play in the first half, 12 to 11. Manchester back on top. Hutter on the right side behind the arc. Man-to-man -man defense. Manchester has not coming out of that. Of course, we haven't come no, out of the 2-3. No, you're right, yeah. That man-to-man's been working for him. And, yeah, I would, I would say the 2-3's working for us as well. Yeah. Hutter on the, the base of the block. Throws up a shot. Bounces off the rim twice and goes in. Hutter using his height down low to get his first points of the game. Back to a one-point lead for the Zebras at 13-12. Mason Hamby on the right wing against the zone defense to Lester. Jump stop, rises up over the walker, and it goes in for two. Well, they must have got tired of hearing us talk about how poorly they were shooting. <laughs> you always have had they, the kiss of death. Yeah, you're right, because both teams have just about doubled their score now. And there's a turnover by Manche or by Rochester. Weston Hamby layup is good on the left side. And that's seven now for Weston. And it's a three-point lead for Manchester with 90 seconds to play in the first half. No look pass to Utter. Top of the key, and he loses the handle again. Lester left side of the floor for Manchester. He picks his way through the defense, and now we're going to have a reach in foul. Is that going to be on Perez? Yeah, I believe so. Wow. Oh, yep. my good heavens. Perez will pick up his first team third. Alex on field into the game again. Tyler Walker to sit. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Uh, coming up at halftime, we're going to talk to freshman coach Joe McCarter about their season to date. Good. So you've got a very limited time to get scores in. <laughs> well, there's not a whole lot of scores to give. <laughs> Lester, Weston Hamby. Lester, right wing, behind the arc. One dribble, two dribble to his left. Brings it around the horn to Fluke. Fluke a couple of dribbles. Back to Lester, top of the key. Now to Casper. Sends it back to Lester between the rings of the volleyball line to Mason Hamby. Mason to Lester to Fluke. In the corner to Weston, can't Hamby. The fluke, teardrop shot in the lane is no good. Utter with another board of 50 seconds. Utter to Perez. Now to Reinhold. Across the timeline with 40 seconds. Law pass over the top of the defense to Utter. Utter splits the double team in the paint. Kicks it out to Reinhold with 37. Jordan has his ball batted away from him. He gets it back. Now to Utter with 30. Wrap around pass to Reinhold. Now to Stasiak with 28. And now we're going to have a foul mm. as Trey was going to the basket. I believe that's going to be on Fluke. That is on, that's on Lester, his first team second. Yeah, we're just 20 seconds away from halftime. There's only been five total fouls. Going. Yeah. Yeah. 29 points for crying out loud. So Rochester with 22 has it. Reinhold around the defense. His jumping lane's good and a foul. And that foul is going to come against Fluke. That'll be his first team third. So Jordan at the line for one, looking to tie this thing at 16. Reinhold with nine points, looking for his tenth. First free throw for Rochester. 20.5 seconds to play in the first half. Jordan's free throw is good as it rattles in. Bryce Abbott back in. Brady Perez would, nope, make that on a field. will sit. 16-16, 20 point five to play in the first half. Weston Hamby brings it up the floor. The 2-3 zone extended. Actually, now it's a 2-2, one half court trap. 14 seconds, Fluke near side with 10. Weston Hamby, jump pass to Fluke with nine. His three over Reinhold is no good. And the rebound tipped out of bounds by Mason Hamby. Rochester gonna get it back with five seconds to play in the first, uh, first half. 
Watch out for Reinhold. He's going to inbound it. But I would guess he's going to get it back somewhere near midcourt. 4.9. Jordan lobs it into Utter. Gives back to Jordan. And they're going to lose, lose it down the sideline with .4 to play in the first half. Rochester going to keep possession, though. So it's going to be a catch and shoot. Nope, now it's going to be one second. So they're going to be six, put six tenths back on the clock. And it's going to be one second to go in the first half with, as we're tied at 16. It's pretty good eyes to see six tenths come off. Yeah, I don't know. And he's the one that called the foul. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Utter to Abbott. Jumper at the buzzer. No. At halftime, we're tied at 16. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Easy, I'm going to get rewarded, and we'll start the second half as Rochester starts with the basketball going to our right. Hey, coming up after this one, we'll have the post-game show with all the numbers and everything. We'll talk to Coach Malco. We're also going to talk to Rochester wrestling coach Clint Gard during the senior night activities. activities. And then Reinhold from 18 feet, too hard, rebound to Manchester. And then uh, we'll have Coach Lisa Fluger in the pregame show. Yeah. Lots and going on tonight. You're not kidding. Oh, Lester, the teardrop shot in the lane is good. Yeah, Rochester's defense got caught out of position. Lester took it right up the middle. Manchester back up now. 30 seconds gone in the third quarter, 18-16. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Rochester again going to our right. Perez on the right wing. I have a feeling this Manchester team is a team you don't want to drop behind very far. Um, you know, they get out in front. I think they can do a pretty good job of handling the basketball. Yeah, you're right. Trey Stasiak rises up from the uh, free throw line and puts it in for two. His first two of the contest were tied again at 18. Weston Hamby drifts to his right. Now center circle against the 2-3 zone. Hamby straight away three for the Squires. Good. Yeah. Deep. That gives him 10 on the night. Maya just walked through. I think she just fouled out in two quarters. <laughs> Coach, Austin Utter. Coach Underwood telling Weston Hamby more of that, more of that. Yeah. So watch out. Utter shot no good. Rebound to Mason Hamby. Now to Fluke. Fluke goes over Perez. Shot no good. Ball knocked out of bounds on the rebound. It'll stay with Manchester baseline left. Rochester kind of on their heels here to start the third quarter defensively. And Alex on a field comes out. Uh, Bryce, Bryce Abbott, Abbott comes in. Slip in. Six and a half to play, third quarter. Manchester up 21-18. They've got the basketball baseline left. Casper gets it in to Weston Hamby. Rochester still in that 2-3 zone. Dribbles to the left wing. Right wing pass to Fluke. He jump stops. A couple of dribbles inside the three-point line. Now to Casper. Casper brings it around to Weston Hamby. Three again, good again. Jeez. That's his third three-pointer of this game, his second back-to-back -to, -back to start this third quarter. And the lead is back to six for Manchester, 24 to 18. Reinhold right wing, crossover dribble, goes to the block, turnaround jumper from five feet, it's a fadeaway, it's in and out, and back in. Where's he? 12. 12 of the 20? Yep. Fluke, thought about a three. Good defense by Austin Utter, closing out that shot. And then steals the oh, basketball, but can't see him going out of bounds. 5.54 to play in the third quarter. Manchester leads 24 to 20. And it'll be Squire basketball out of bounds the far side. Fluke, left wing behind the arc, five feet. One dribble to his left. Now top to Weston Hamby, who drifts towards the scorer's table. Between his legs dribble, takes it left hard, kicks it back outside to Fluke. He's in the paint, fakes out to Hamby. Weston, back to Fluke. 
Fakes the three inside the three-point line. Jump stop in the paint. Ball stripped away. Picked up by Perez. Rochester runs. Stasiak down low to Abbott. Abbott fakes. Leaner. No good. Mason Hamby with the rebound. Manchester running the other way up by four. Mason Hamby against the double team. Out to Casper. Make that Lester in the paint. And he's going to be fouled on the pass. It'll be out of bounds to Manchester. 5-13 to play in the first, uh, I'm sorry, in the third quarter. They're going to get Abbott on the reach in. That'll be his first team first of the half. Guy girl doubleheader tonight. The varsity girls coming up after this one. Manchester and Rochester in a basically conference championship game. Yeah, the winner will uh, be sitting in the driver's seat for next week's conference championship. Yep, that's right. Manchester. Also with one loss, Northfield with just one loss. If, uh, if, if Manchester would happen to win tonight, that will not eliminate Rochester as Mason Hamby knocks yes. down a jumper. That's right, because Manchester has to play North. Does play Valley that's next week, Tippecanoe Valley next week. So Yeah, that's true. And if Tippecanoe Valley would beat Manchester and Rochester would in turn beat Northfield, you got a four-way tie. <laughs> but... but Alternatively, if Rochester wins tonight, that will eliminate Valley and Manchester, and it'll be a winner-take-all against Northfield next week. A four for Krieger, and now Rochester will take a timeout. Manchester's out to a nine-point lead. It's a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Yeah, Krieger hit, Krieger hit the three just before the timeout. And, uh, that's their third one of this quarter. And what we feared is about to is about to happen. They're it's, starting to it, warm it's up. It's trying to explode a little bit. Yeah, yeah right, Coach Malco rightfully calling the timeout and getting into the into the face a little bit of his uh, players, trying to challenge him a little bit offensively. Manchester to man-to-man -man defense. Trey Stasiak takes his defender into the paint, kicks it out to Abbott. Bryce on the right block, jump stop. Leaner against Hamby is... No good, but we've got a travel. Oh, are you kidding me? A travel yeah. first. I knew that's what this guy out here was wanting to call, but he was waiting to see if the guy underneath was good, had a foul or not because they both blew their whistles yeah. at the same time. And I think the guy underneath was going to call a foul. Yeah. 4-10 to play in the third. 29-20. Manchester the lead in the basketball. Krieger to Hamby. Now to Lester. Mason Hamby in the paint against the double team. Gives to a cutting Casper. His layup is good. Good patience and a great pass by Mason Hamby. Casper making the cut. And then Reinhold has his pass tipped away, but he gets it back. Utter now on the block. Loses, loses it through it. his hands and out of bounds. That's the tenth turnover against Rochester in this ballgame. Kyle Reinhardt will come in for the first time tonight. Alex Onifield comes back. Well, that's who uh, Rochester went to early uh, in, the, in the casting game Tuesday night, and he brought a spark. Yep. That's right. To the Rochester offense. 3.40 to play in the third quarter. It's 31 to 20, Manchester. Mason Hamby gives out to Lester. Krieger, Hamby, Casper, Hamby, Krieger, Mason Hamby on the baseline. Over the top of the right wing to Weston Hamby. Drives to the left side, switches directions around the defense, and he's going to be fouled on the reach in by uh, Reinhold. Reinhold on the far side. It'll it's going to stay with Manchester. Jordan's first team second. So uh, Manchester had 16 points at halftime. They got 15 in this third quarter. And we still got three and a half to go. So the official and Coach Malco talking here a little bit about the coaching staff chewing on the official. And there's still a, there's still a discussion going on right here in front of us. So is that a bench warning? 
<laughs> I, I think that that has to be reported to the, to the, the scores table, I think. Yeah, okay. 3.20 to play. Just kind of a uh, non-official warning that yeah. uh, we're, we're, we about had enough. Yeah. yeah, right. Manchester by 11. 3.10 to play in the first uh, third quarter. Casper, three right wing, in and out. Thank God, no good. <laughs> Trey Stasiak with the rebound. Now to Reinhold. Jordan pushes. Middle of the floor. Right wing, now to Stasiak. Oh. Yep, had on a field posted up down low. and Couldn't get it to him. Brady Perez near the center circle outside the volleyball line. Holds against the man-to-man -man defense. Are you kidding me? There was a count started, and the cat wasn't even that close to him. Hands off to Reinhold. Jordan rises up from the free throw line. Good again. Reinhold, yep, with 14 of the 22 for Rochester. And he cuts the Manchester lead to nine. Weston Hamby Ooh. thought about a three. Gives to Lester. Outside to Mason Hamby. Pull up 15-footer. Good. Back an 11-point lead for Manchester. 2.20 to play in the third quarter. Reinhold works to the left side to field. That works make, against Mason Hamby. Makes me smile whenever you see Weston Hamby thinks about a three. I think he wakes up thinking about a three. <laughs> Reinhardt's in the paint, and we're going to have a three-second call. Yeah. Kyle kind of got caught in there against uh, the triple team and couldn't get out of it. And Coach Malco, I think I heard him right, saying, hey, if you can't shoot it, get it out of there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you're five foot, you're five foot from it. Rise up and put her in, young man. Two, pit, two to play in the third. Manchester by 11. Hamby to Casper to Weston Hamby. Straight away three again on the way. No good. Rebound tipped around, and it's going to be out of bounds off the support. Yeah, the, far, the far official said Rochester tipped it out of bounds. And there's been no – oh, we're going to have a jump oh, ball. It's just That's a bailout. Manchester. But Manchester shoots the ball, and it goes – didn't it go off the rim and high? or did No, it came off of somebody's off hand. Off the rebound, okay. Yeah, and went out of bounds. So they call it a jump ball, so on the uh, alternating possession, Manchester will keep possession. With a minute 50 to play in the third quarter, Manchester by 11. Weston Hamby, top of the key to Casper. Now to Krieger, three again. That's his second three of this quarter. And now the lead is 14 for Manchester with 90 seconds to play in the third. Reinhold then throws it out of bounds. And the Squires are going to get it back. Yeah, Rochester with 12 turnovers in the basketball game. Coach Malco will use a timeout. It'll be a 30. You're listening to... 90 seconds to play in the third quarter. Manchester has extended their lead to 14 right now at 36 to 22. And after the Rochester timeout, Manchester will have it after the turnover as well. Manchester on a 20 to 6 run uh, here in the third quarter, and that's why they're out by 14. They started warming up, and Rochester stays a yeah, little cool from the cold. floor. Yep. Krieger... Mason Hamby, outside to Lester. Now to Krieger, to Weston Hamby, right wing to Casper. Around the defense to Hamby. To Lester on the baseline, his pass tip right in the hands of Krieger. Bounce pass to Mason Hamby in the paint. He loses the handle, picked up by Rochester. Reinhold runs, minute to play in the third. Down by 14, Jordan coast to coast, layups, good in the foul. Oh, oh no, come right on. on the floor. This guy has missed a pretty so, good game tonight. Yeah, Mason Hamby going to pick up the foul, his first team first, and they're going to give the ball to Rochester out of bounds on what should have been an and one. Yes. Rochester gets it in. Wow. That's a blown call right there. Yeah. Take so, three points off the board yeah, That's exactly Rochester. right. We're under a minute to play in the first uh, third quarter. Rochester the basketball down by 14. In the lane to Perez. Brady out to Lingenfelder. Around to Reinhold, Jordan, three ball straight away. In and out, no good. Perez with the rebound, and we're going to have a foul on Casper, Casper for coming underneath Perez, and it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. It'll be Casper's second, Perez, uh, team second. I think a lot of teams underestimate Brady Perez's ability to jump, and that time was one of them where Casper thought he had inside position, but Perez is so athletic, he just outleaped him yeah. for the basketball. Yeah. 41 seconds to play, third quarter. Manchester up 36-22. Lingenfelder gets the inbounds pass from Reinhold. Takes it to the right wing. Now back to Reinhold. Down low to Onafield. Onafield turnaround jumper is no good, but a foul coming on Manchester's uh, Borgman. Borgman. I beg your pardon. It'll be sent Onafield to the line to shoot two. Borgman's first team third. Onafield looking for his first points of the ball game. 
Only the second time in this entire game Rochester's been to the free throw line. One for one. Yeah. On a field, has two. First one for the junior. Yep. One more coming for Onafield. Again, senior night activities coming up after this. Also, we'll talk to Rochester wrestling coach Clint Gard. We'll talk to Rochester coach Rob Malko and Lisa Fluger. Hey, Bright. What's the score? Onafield hits his second. Rochester down 12 now as Manchester will get ready to inbound it with 35.4 seconds to go here in the third quarter. JV game is over. The JV girls game, they get beat tonight 41 22 over in the Hawks. Ugh. The Rochester in a half court trap at 27. Lester against the trap. Gets it out of there. Gets it to Manchester's Krieger. Now at 20, back to Lester. Lester backs it out to the timeline to Weston Hand behind the right side with 14 and has it stolen by Perez. Perez, one handed. Oh, missed, missed it. Brady Perez rises up with one hand and missed the dunk. <laughs> and the Manchester. Stare. He's getting the stare down from Coach Malco. And Manchester gets the rebound and is fouled with nine seconds of play in the third quarter. Stasiak will pick up the foul. That'll be his first, team third. Brady Perez's elbow was above the rim. Yeah, he definitely had the, had the height on the, on the attempt. The ball just hit the back of the rim. And Manchester fouled on the way to the basket. That's Weston Hamby who was fouled. We'll wait to see where the whistle is going to be against. It's going to be the Abbott. He's going to pick up his second. Lester. Nope. Weston Hamby will trigger it in. Baseline left, 3.3 to play in the third. Rochester down, 36 to 24. Oh, wide open Lester. His reverse layup, no good. And the rebound to Abbott. He couldn't get a shot off before the buzzer. After three, Manchester leads 36-24. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Going to the fourth and final quarter, the Zebras trailing 36 to 24. And uh, Rochester will start the fourth period bad of the basketball. Yeah, uh, Rochester, I didn't think their defense was you know, really terrible that third quarter. It's just that Krieger and Hamby really started to heat things up from outside the arc. Same, in, you're right. Same in de defensive intensity. Manchester yeah. just hit a few more shots. Yeah, and I think maybe they might have gotten us out of position a little bit, and that's why they, they were open for those shots. But, you know, the, like you said, the intensity was there. So seven seconds into the fourth quarter, Manchester commits a foul on Lingenfelder on the reach in. Yeah, Weston Hamby picks up his first team fourth. So Reinhold will be right in front of the Rochester coaches, looking to trigger it in. Jordan Studies gets it into Calvary Lingenfelder on the Manchester side of the timeline, and he'll walk it through the center circle. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. I think uh, Coach Malko's concerns right now is our offense. He's, he's really been on them the last couple of timeouts. Stasiak for three is good! And that'll sure help your offense. And the lead is down to nine. 30 seconds gone in the fourth quarter. Stasiak with his seventh point of the game. Lester against the 2-3 zone to Hamby. Left side to Fluke. Fluke around the defense to Weston Hamby. Dribbles between the rings to Lester. 2-3 zone by the Zebras. Hamby, three over Lingenfelder. Air ball going to go back to Rochester. Seven eleven to play in the game. Manchester leads 36-27. Manchester in a full court press. 
Lingenfelder to bring it up. Cavalry against the 2 2 1. I thought he double dribbled. And Reinhold now to Stasiak. Trey Ooh. over the top to Reinhold. Good Jordan to the basketball right. right in front of Coach Malco. Good thing Reinhold 6 3. That would have been yep. <laughs> out of bounds. Stasiak in the, in the uh, right corner at the free throw line. Bounce pass down low to Jordan Reinhold. Reinhold against the double team out to Stasiak. Three right wing again. Short. Rebound tipped around and. Manchester comes out of there with it, and I believe Bryce Abbott going to be whistled for the foul. Yeah, that'll be his third, team fifth. I'd really rather not uh, pick up cheap fouls and put Manchester on the free throw line, but we're getting there. Yeah, you're, you're right. 6.43 to play in the game, 36-27 Manchester. And after the Rochester foul, the, the Squires will have it going to our left. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Zebras will stay in that 2-3 zone. Casper on the right wing. Gives to Hamby, top of the key. Near side to Fluke. Bounce pass back to Hamby. To Fluke in the left wing behind the arc. He'll fire three over Stasiak. It's good. Fluke gets his first points of the game, and surprise, surprise, it's a three. Now it's back to a 12-point lead for Manchester. Stasiak gets across the timeline against the double team, and we're going to have a foul coming against Fluke. And that'll be his second, team fifth. Both teams now with two fi uh, five team fouls, that is. And that's what, uh, you know, something Rochester needs to be thinking about, too. If they can pick up another couple quick fouls uh, and get to the free throw line, that, that's going to help a lot to cut yeah, into absolutely. this lead. Scoring with a stop, uh, the clock well, stopped. stopped. Yes, exactly. Lingenfelder, crossover dribble against Hamby yep. in the paint now. Outside of Stasiak, high on the left side, two minutes gone in the fourth quarter. Rochester down by 12. Reinhold drives it left in the paint, rises up over the defense, puts it in for two. Reinhold now with 16. 39-29. Rochester's cut this Manchester lead down to 10 with 5.45 to play in the game. Look back door. Mason Hamby rises up, puts it in for two. He is a load. Yeah, He's he only is. about 5, 9, or 10, but he, he is a he, load he down play, there. He plays a lot taller than what he is. Lingenfelder to Reinhold across to Stasiak. Trey has oh. his pass tipped out of bounds by Mason Hamby. And uh, Abbott, lucky he didn't pick up foul number four there. <laughs> Baseline right out of the Zebras. Ryan Holt will look to trigger it in. Gets it into Abbott. His rises up oh. in the paint. No good. A lot, point of blank. Missed, lot of missed opportunities for Rochester. They missed a couple of point blank layups like that. Perez missed the dunk. Lester loses the basketball to bounds. They're going to say last touch by the Zebras. It'll stay with Manchester baseline left. Hey. Coach Underwood will bring uh, back Krieger. And Weston Hamby will sit down first time tonight. Yeah. Casper baseline left will get it in for the Squires. 5.17 to play. Mason Hamby for three. Nope. And the offensive rebound to Lester. And he is fouled on the putback. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. I think Lingenfelder is going to pick that foul up. Foul and that will be his goal. second. His second, team six. At the line, shooting two. So Lester will go to the free throw line to shoot two. This is his first trip to the free throw line. He's got six on the night. Cam Lester, a six-foot guard, misses yeah. the first one. He'll have one more. Austin Utter will come back in for Rochester, and Abbott will sit. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. 5-13 to play in the basketball game. In the first basketball game here at Rochester, the Manchester guys leading Rochester 41-29 as Lester misses both free throws. Noted. <laughs> Lingenfelder drives the baseline, and he's going to be fouled on the way there. And that'll be the 16 foul Manchester. So after this, everybody will be shooting. You're right. Casper picks up his third, team six. And Weston Hamby will check back in. Casper will sit down. Reinhold baseline left will look to trigger it in for Rochester. Down by 12 at 41-29 with 5.06 to play in the game. Lot pass to Utter. Oh, Utter outside of Calvary, Lingenfelder. Step back three, blocked. Picked up now the rebound by Lester. Fluke, high on the right side, will back it out and reset for Manchester. 4.50 to play in the game. Manchester by 12 outside of Weston Hamby. In the corner to Lester. Drives the baseline. Reverse layup is good. Great uh, block by Mason Hamby as he cut off the defense from stepping on the baseline to stop that shot. Hunter hands off to Reinhold, left wing. Now drives to Jordan. Leaner in the paint is good off the window. Rochester will use another timeout. 
It's a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. 427 to play in the game. 43-31. Manchester with the lead. It'll be Manchester basketball out of bounds against the full court press. Rochester has one timeout left. Manchester has all five. The Squires also have the possession arrow. Here comes a run and jump defense. Weston Hamby is fouled going up the court by, I believe, Reinhold or Perez. We'll wait and see. Reinhold seems to be the most disappointed in the call, so we'll see who gets it. And that so was Weston, Perez, his second okay. foul. Yep. Weston Hamby will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Squires. 4.25 to play in the game. It's a 12-point lead for Manchester. Hamby with 13 points in this basketball game. Two for two from the line. First one for the freshman. It's good. We'll have one more. <laughs> Second one for the freshman. Good again. 45-31 Manchester. And... And the pass is stolen in the backcourt by Lester. He goes to the basket. Finger roll is up and Ooh, in. I was going to hang on the rim. It settled on the back, but had enough steam to get over the, the edge and goes in for two. This is the biggest lead of the night, I believe, for Manchester at 16. Stasiak pull up 15-footer. No good. Rebound tipped around. Ball's loose. It goes out of bounds. They're going to stay last touched by Rochester. Rochester. We'll go to Manchester. Four minutes to play in the game. Yeah, Rochester only had uh, eight points in that third quarter, and they've got seven here in the fourth. So Manchester doing a really good job of uh, taking away opportunities for Rochester. Four minutes to play in the basketball game. 47-31 Manchester. Mason Hamby, left wing pass to Fluke in the corner to Weston Hamby. Back to Fluke and left wing. He drives the paint. Wrap around pass to Mason Hamby. His shot from two foot in is good. 49-31, Stasiak against a 2-2-1. Perez has his pass tipped away. Stasiak gets it back now to Reinhold. Jordan, three, right wing for Zebras. Nope, Lingenfelder, weak side rebound. Out to Stasiak. Trey looks back door to Perez. Brady rises up, foul on the shot. He tried to dunk, missed it, but foul on the way up. He'll go to the lane to shoot two. Fluke will pick up his third, team seventh. I can't do what he do, does on a doctor dunk. You remember those? <laughs> those you pull the key out and you yeah. can adjust the height? Yeah. No, I I couldn't either. So explosive. One step and he's above the rim. Yeah. Got a lot of power in the legs. Brady Perez has two. First one is short. He'll have one more. 320 to play in the game. First to two here tonight on WROI. Second one is the uh, girls, Manchester and Rochester. Conference championship on the line for both teams. Senior night activities first. Brady Perez with one more. The second one for the juniors good this time. 49-32. I think the difference to this point, we've had a few more turnovers, uh -huh. but we, when Manchester started hitting shots, we didn't. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. We, we left some points and some opportunities on the floor. Hamby gets another yeah. finger roll to go. Weston Hamby splits the defense and goes in for an uncontested layup. Ryan Holt in the paint. Foul on the shot by Fluke. He'll go to the line to shoot two with three minutes to play in the game. It's 51 32. Manchester. Fluke now with four. Ryan Holt with 18 points in the basketball game. He's going to look for a couple more. So Jordan Ryan holding the line for two for the Zebras. Rochester down by 19, and that's a good free throw for the senior. One more for Jordan. Sets up, eyes the second one. Let's her fly. Good again. I think Rochester's only missed, what, one free throw? Maybe two? Uh, just one. 51-34. Manchester leads. Casper for three is good again. Well, that drive and kick has worked in the second half for the Squires. Yeah, it has. Rochester uh, defense has gotten tired. 
Lingenfelder's pull-up jumper is good from 10 feet. That's his first points of the game. 54-36. Weston Hamby walks it up the floor. 2.25 to play in the game. Hamby takes Reinhold to the baseline. And then Jordan Reinhold's going to commit a foul on the freshman. And Weston Hamby will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. A 2.19 to play in the game. Ryan Polt picks up his second. Number 15, Reinhold. His second. Teammate. At the line, shooting one of the bonus. Three, Hamby. Weston Hamby at the line for one of the bonus with 2.19 to play in the game. Manchester leading 54 to 36. Freshman misses the one. free throw. His, Rebound to Utter. That's his first miss. Stasiak against Mason Hamby. Picks up his dribble. Now out to Reinhold. Jordan to the baseline. Switching defense. Now to Perez. Brady behind the arc. Now to Lingenfelder. Cavalry Lingenfelder to Utter. High on the left side. Now to Reinhold. Jordan on the baseline. Goes in. Jumper off the window is good. Timeout Rochester. It's their final timeout. Under two to play in the game. Manchester leads. You're listening to Zebra Basketball. 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And Rochester will be on defense. Manchester leading 54-38. And Manchester now, Brad, all they want to do is just... Yeah, they're just going to run, hopefully run the clock out here yep. if they can. Rochester got a little bit of jump defense here and see if they can't get a turnover or, or put somebody on the free throw line. We're going to talk to Coach Malco after this one. We're going to talk to Coach Guard in between both games during senior night activities and, of course, the pregame show with Coach Lisa Fluger coming up as well. 30 seconds to play in the game. Manchester the basketball, milking the clock away here. Mason Hamby, leaner off the window. Nope. Ball being tipped around. Stasiak comes out of there with it with a minute 20. Stasiak brings it up the floor, drives to his left. He's going to be fouled on the drive by Mason Hamby, and Trey Stasiak will go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. Mason Hamby pick up his second. His second team ninth. Stasiak with seven points in the basketball game, looking to add to his totals. Stasiak at the line for one in the bonus. Sophomore for the Zebras. Misses off the back of the rim. Utter with the rebound. Put back on the way. Good. No. Good. All but down. Bounce back out. He'll go to the line to shoot two. So that foul's coming against Fluke. That's his fifth, and he will be done. He's going to finish with three points. At the line for the Zebras, shooting two, number three, Utter. Checking in the Manchester. Utter with just two points in the basketball game today. He's looking for his first trip to the free throw line. Austin up to the line to shoot two with 1.15 to play in the game. 54-38 is the score. Manchester leading. First one is good for the senior. One more for Utter. Looking to cut this into 14. Again, Rochester out of timeouts. Manchester with all five. Second one is in and out, no good. And Casper with the rebound. I think that's the biggest challenge that Rochester's got right now as we head into the second half of the season is, you know, as long as Reinhold continues to get his 20, we've got to find somebody else like Utter or Perez to step up into double figures. Yep. Jordan Reinhold steals the basketball, and then Casper steals the basketball from Stasiak with 55. Casper jump pass to Weston Hamby. Around the defense to McAdee, back to Hamby. 45 seconds. Hamby 
splits the defense, gives to Casper. Casper. Rochester trying to get a foul and haven't been successful yet. Mason Hamby, foul on the shot, and his shot goes in, and he'll go to the line to shoot one. Pass is good for number 11, Hamby. Utter picks up his first foul. 37.5 to play. Hamby with 12 points in the basketball game. And he's making his first trip to the free throw line. 37.5 to play in the game. And he'll have two. We'll make that one for Mason Hamby. Senior puts it in. So into the game for the first time is Austin Underwood. The 6'3 sophomore comes in. Rochester going to have the ball. Down by 18 here at 57 to 39. Lingenfelder high on the left side with 30. Top of the key now to Reinholt with 29. Jordan hesitates around the defense. Leaner on the way, off the window, and in as it spins around and falls through. 57 to 41, 20 seconds. Reinholt, 10 points here in this fourth quarter, 10 of his 24. Down to 15 seconds. And Hamby fouled on the play. Weston Hamby, and he'll go to the line to shoot two with 12. Utter picks up his second. Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. So the Why? freshman, Weston Hamby, with 17 points in the basketball game. No kidding. Yep. He's four or five from the line. I swear I'm watching the same one. That uh, I had no idea he was. That's what he had. 18 now as he yeah. hits that free throw. Squire lineup, 34, Meyer. One more coming for the freshman. Second on the way is no good. Right hole with the rebound with 10. Jordan runs with nine. Ahead to Stasiak. Right hand to layup for the sophomore is good with five. With four, with three, with two, and that'll do it. The final, 58-43. Rochester slips to seven and six overall. Five and seven is where the Manchester Squires go. Post game show coming up next, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com.